Hey friend, I want to ask you a question. What's in a name? Ever thought about that? Well, throughout history, God has chosen diverse ways to reveal his essence to humanity. And one of the most significant avenues is through various names. The Hebrew term for name is Shem, which carries more than a mere title. It embodies a reputation or a good name. In the tapestry of scripture, and Hebrew culture, a name capsulates one's very being. It holds within it threads of identity, destiny, calling, power, authority. Like, for example, uh, Jacob, signifying the one who grabs the heel, was transformed into Israel, denoting the one who prevails. A metamorphosis that extended beyond an individual's identity to the destiny of an entire nation. And in Exodus 3, Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the Israelites to say to them, The God of your fathers or your ancestors has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What will I tell them? Well, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, You shall say this to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Now, when Moses inquired of God his name, he wasn't merely seeking a given name or a moniker. He desired to comprehend who God was. A cornerstone of God's character is his eternal existence, the before that precedes all else. In other words, the name of God, the name God gave Moses encapsulates not only his present, but his timeless past and his boundless future. Names in the kingdom of God enshroud the fullness of an individual. It encapsulates rank, authority, interests, pleasures, commands, excellence, and deeds. Embedded within the pages of God's Word, Hebrew names of God unveil intricate portraits of His character. Among these, Yeshua stands out, translating to Adonai saves. So in the ultimate revelation of his identity, Yeshua assumed a human form, humbling himself to transverse the human experience and ultimately sacrificing on the cross for humanity's transgressions. Thusly, God has highly exalted him, the Bible says, and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Yeshua, every knee should bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue confessed, Yeshua, the Messiah, is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's Philippians chapter 2. A day awaits when all humanity will kneel and acknowledge God's omnipotence, bowing to the name Yahweh saves. Every tongue shall unite in confessing that the name Yahweh saves is Lord. So the attributes and virtues of God are multitudinous and unveiled to us in the diverse ways that God has given us various names. Each name carries immense potency, demanding attention and invoking authority by the virtue of its inerrant representation of who God is. And when we say or think on each of these names, we're speaking and meditating on the specific attribute that name represents. Now, how does this relate to humanity? Well, within Hebrew culture, names extend beyond mere labels, as I've pointed out. They delve into profound reflections of an individual's essence and character. Names represent a person's core identity, personality, character, and their connection with God. Take Isaac, for example, which means laughter embodying the joy his birth brought. Or David, signifying beloved, captures his intimate bond with God. Hebrew names also carry spiritual significance believed to influence a person's destiny and life path. Tradition holds that parents should select names that mirror their aspirations for their children, as these names can shape personality and fate. Thus, Hebrew names transcend labels, painting intricate portraits of individuals and their character, personality, and destiny. One of my grandsons is named Noah, which means rest or peace. And when God sent devastating flood due to 
humanity's weakness, violence, and wickedness, and corruption, and depravity, it marked a tremendously tumultuous period. Every living creature was destined to perish. However, amid this chaos, Noah was diligently and tranquil, tranquilly constructing an ark to ensure the safety of the family and two of each God's creatures. Peace was his destiny and purpose. In the safety of the ark, all was at rest, demonstrating the power of a name. So I would encourage you to dwell on the names of God and contemplate his character. And as you do, you'll know him better and it will increase your faith and your trust and confident reliance in him. Well, I pray this encourages you and helps you. So have a blessed week. I look forward to visiting with you again.